Hi, my name is Fraser Chadburn. This video is an ad lib response to someone asking just how easy is it to get a simulation with a panel diagram up and running in Rhapsody. If I create a new project, then the first thing is the behavior needs to be owned by some classifier. So for example, a block. And then underneath that block, I'll add a state chart. Maybe it's got two states on, off, and on is kind of waiting for order, order taken. And then between these states, I'm going to put some transitions. So I'll go from off to on when there's an event, which is turn on. And I'll go from on to off when there's an event, EV turn off. And then I'll go EV order given. And then obviously I'm going to start in the off state and we'll wait for the order. So that's that. this is Harel state chart notation. So this is all owned by this state chart and it, it's created events that represent the triggers that are causing these transitions. Events are asynchronous signals. I'll create a new panel diagram now. And I'll get a push button to be bound to generate that event. So get this button to generate turn on. And I'll just change the display options to show me the bound element. So that's turn off. And that's order given. And I can bind an LED to the states. So I'm just kind of binding it into the the model really. And then some of these have sort of display options. So you can say, make this blink. <laughs> I've got two for waiting for order here. Order taken. Yeah, make order taken colored green. And they're very, it's kind of very simple widget stuff here. So now I need to build the system. So my component says, uh, it, you know, this is the executable. So create me a, an executable called my sim Let's just create an executable and then compile it with my sigwin my sigwin configuration compiler. It's got animation enabled. The important thing here is create me an instance of this block and anything it needs. So that will create a main effectively in the software when I when it and uh, when it generates and runs. This main will back animate the model. Yeah, so I can now open the simulated state chart.
You know, if, if an order's given and I'm off, it's not going to do anything. So what the state chart's doing is constraining the behavior of what the system will do based on its state. If I, if I turn on, then I can take an order. I can turn it off and on. So this, this sort of understanding this emergent behavior is actually quite powerful, especially if it's a state-based system, obviously.